Well, we're not at the ranch, so we're actually coming into Fort Worth for a horse sale. And while we're here, I found a bone frog, and a bone frog is an obstacle race. So Bonnie and I are here, we're gonna run this race. Uh, I got signed up in the Elite Sprint, which is a short race. Uh, yeah, so the obstacles look easy enough. Same deal, if you, if you can't make an obstacle, you lose, your, your, you're out of the Elite, and you just run. Um, yeah, so we're waiting on our start time. Should be starting in about 30 minutes, so. How long have you been since last time we were in this store? Mm, at least three, four, maybe four I bet years. It's six years. No. I was thinking it was 2017 or 16 or 17. You might be right. And it was at a racetrack. Yeah, it was way bigger than this. This is smaller, which I like small. But we'll see. I hope it's a good race. We'll see. So different, this race is different. It's got like a rolling start. So it's like you can start at 9.15 to 9.30. So whenever your time slot is, you can just start whenever you want. It's got, we got time chips on the on ankle. So that's kind of weird when you're not just running all together. So I got started at the first, so. Gender first place, and of course, age is first place. First place, number one. So we got, we're trying to get out of here. We got fire and rescue looking for the old guy. At least we won this time. You probably remember me from last time. Probably. So we're not at the ranch, of course. Like I said, we, um, I come down here to Fort Worth, Dallas area. Ran a race the other day. Um, we did good there, won it. And then we hung around, we got the truck camper <coughs> and the horse trailer. <coughs> and we were hanging out here at the NCHA Futurity. So the two year old sale is today. I'm headed down there to get my buyer's number right now. And I don't really need a two year old. I'd like to have a two year old. Cause remember I bought, I've got Macho. So I got Macho to work on, which is good but um i would like to have a two-year-old the um i've got a lot of two-year-olds i'm looking at but i'm not looking for a show horse so when i say i'm not looking for a show horse that essentially means i look i look for things that are a little bit different all right let me get checked in here hang on so i buy these two-year-olds and and what i'm looking for is a a really good trained two-year-old horse that i can take home and go to work on so I've trained these two-year-olds and it takes, I mean, if you if you come down there to the fraternity and you buy a decent bred colt, it's gonna cost you 10,000. And then you go home 
and you train him. Actually, you buy two colts. One of them might get crippled. Da, da, da. I'm telling you, you got 30,000 in these things by the time you get there, too. So what I do is I come down here. I'm not looking to buy a show horse. I'm looking to buy a, a good ranch horse, which is... So I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel. And how I scrape the bottom of the barrel is I'm like going, okay, I'm looking for a guy or gal. A gal's better. I mean, that just not a no name, not, not like some superstar uh, cutting horse trainer. Just a, a person that bought a mare, or bought a colt, and brought it down here to sell it. Because they won't, they're, they're not part of the team, they're not part of the game, and they will not get the money that the big trainers will. So, also, I'm looking for, so you, so that's number one, owner-operator is what I call it. Owner-operator. They own the horse, they're training the horse. That's not good for here. Um, then you look at the horse. All the horses are out of good studs. So the studs are all, you know, first-class studs. The mares, the mares were, that's the make it or break it. So it's, a, so say if the mares won 300,000s, produced a couple hundred thousand worth of offsprings, it's called black type. I won't be able to afford that one. So what I'm looking for is one that's like a Maris won maybe twenty five thousand and hadn't produced anything. That's the kind of horse. Then I then that so it's, it's not genetically inferior, but it's genetically you know down. So that's what I that's what I'm looking for because then I can take it, use it on the ranch, go home, use it for ranch, work it for a year or two, and then and then sell it. So and I enjoy doing that. So. I don't know. We'll know here pretty quick if if anything's going to work or not. Um, we were in the area, and so we had the camper, and I hooked the, the Bonnie's horse trailer on. And I need to do a Bonnie update, too. So, all right. So, I'm going to go in there. We're going to look around a little bit and see see what we get, get a buyer's number. And there's, I've got a handful of horses that I think might be cheap enough for me, but we'll see. And there'll be a lot of horses go for hundreds of thousands of dollars. Yeah, we ain't looking for that.
Well, all right. Well, we didn't get any horses bought, so we are headed home. Ray's loaded. Eddie, you ready to go home? What about you, B? You ready to go ready. home? Okay, here we go. Ah, right, well, we're not quite back to the ranch yet. We're maybe uh, 45 minutes. So the, the horse sale was a, was a flop for me. Uh, the horses were really, 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 and I've been told that the horse market is super high. And so a lot of the horses, so say like the ones a year and a half ago when I was here buying horses, that we're going for 35, we're going for 70. And everything that I had picked out this morning, I mean, one of them I missed by 60,000. So they're really, really high. Uh, and I kind of told you what makes them high when they give us the black tie, but the horse market is just strong. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't get when one goes for 700,000, I don't get that. Uh, and I'm sure there's a bunch more go for a lot more higher, a lot higher than 700. But yeah, right out, right out, right out of the box, you get one going for 700,000. You know, it's going to be a good day for the for the people selling horses. So um, it was fun. It's fun to watch a two-year-old work though, because a two-year-old is um, is is fun to watch work. Cause, you know, some of the two-year-olds are really good, and some of them are, you know. But I saw one two-year-old. That the guy never even got a cow cut. I mean, he was so green, never got a cow cut. It brought twelve thousand five hundred. So I don't know, maybe it wasn't a real bid. But so we're almost back to the ranch. Um, we, you know, we went for the horse sale. We ended up going to a, a bone frog and ran that race, which was fun. So we ran by. What we did is we went by Fort Worth. We dropped the trailer off and then went on to Forney, which is on the other side of Dallas. Found a bone frog and obstacle race, run. and that turned out good for me. So we, the traffic was terrible, but um, yeah, we ended up getting one win there, so that was enjoyable. Um, what else want to say about that? Camper work good. Oh yeah. <coughs> Colts ride, truthfully. 
great sunset over here. We're almost to the ranch. So, some of the, the things though that today that was interesting, 17 horses brought over 100,000. The top three horses brought a million eight. A mi the top three horses brought a million eight. And they were bought by the Teton Ridge, Ridge Teton Ridge Ranch. 